Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a special breeding for profit video all about mutt guppies. That's right, folks, mutt guppies. Now, before I get started with the video, do me a favor. Go ahead and just obliterate the subscription button. Just annihilate it, smash it, disintegrate, whatever other adjective, I think that's an adjective, you can use to smash the subscription button. Go ahead and do that. And uh, then gently, boop, the notification bell. All right, mutt guppies. What is a mutt guppy? A mutt guppy is just exactly what it sounds. It's a mutt. It's a guppy that was born from genetics that are unknown, we'll say for the scientific term. Uh, mutt guppy started with, I was breeding um, tequila sunsets, you know, the ones you get at PetSmart or Petco, they're kind of red with a yellow in the tail. It was my first, you know, strain that I bought and they weren't breeding true. And I had just started and I knew from a business standpoint, if you were gonna sell a guppy and it doesn't breed true, you're gonna get a bad name pretty quickly. And I didn't want that. So the ones that didn't look right, I started putting in another tank. And then I had another strain of guppies and I, I found a couple of those that didn't look great. And I put those in the same tank. And then about a month and a half, two months later, when they had babies and they started growing up and I started getting pretty cool looking guppy, I was, uh, guppies, I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to, I'm going to keep those. I'm going to, I'm going to try to sell them to my local fish store as fancy guppies. Now, way back when, when I started this adventure, my plan was to breed guppies, sell them to my local fish store, make enough money to um, support my hobby, my addiction, and be done with it. Unfortunately, he buys guppies from his wholesaler, Dirt Cheap. Um, probably has about a 25% loss rate, if he's lucky. And uh, I decided I didn't really wanna sell them Dirt Cheap. It wasn't worth my time or money. So that's when I started with the website and, and marketing and all that other stuff. Anyway, mutt guppies. How do you breed for profit with mutt guppies? I've sold uh, my mutt guppies to a couple local fish stores before for more than they buy them at, more than they would buy regular fancies at wholesale. And I was told I sold 80 guppies to one local fish store and I was told by the owner of that fish store, the manager of that fish store, that uh, he had one die and she was pregnant and had just given birth to like a thousand babies. Sometimes guppies die when they drop fry. It's very stressful for them. So he was like, I can't even chalk it up to bad stock. I just think she died from the stress. And he said he sold out of most of the guppies in one weekend. And then I sold some to another local fish store and he told me the same thing. I sold him 50, no deaths, sold out in a weekend and he was pretty happy. And so sometimes you guys buy mutt guppies. They're on the website, five for $25, $5 a guppy, a little bit more expensive than if you went to Petco or PetSmart and bought a guppy, but you're getting a pretty hardy guppy. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're bulletproof because nothing's bulletproof, but I've had mutt guppies in, um, the mail for five, six, eight days, no problem. The longest I've ever had guppies in the mail, I think was 11 days. I'm not sure if they were mutts or not, but they were bred here in my fish room, so. The other thing I like about mutt guppies, especially if you're not looking to line breed, if you just want nice looking guppies or a certain color, or you want a breeding project for a, a kid, they're pretty inexpensive. $5 a guppy isn't a lot. I recommend them to everyone that's not looking to line breed. Now. Some people say to me, can you get me all blue ones? I wanna to try to get all blue babies. Well, I, I can try, they might look blue, but we didn't know what went into them. <laughs> get it, what went in, anyway. Um, so why are mutt guppies hardier? Well, they have a lot of mixed genetics. It's just like a mutt dog. If you have a purebred German Shepherd, um, there's a higher chance of hip dysplasia. Why? Because that's been bred into them from line breeding German Shepherds so long. You don't have that with muck guppies. By the second generation, the genetics are so discombobulated that none of that stuff comes through. Um, fancy colors. You get fancy colors and looks that you wouldn't get from, you know, breeding true guppies. 
a lot of colors that fade into each other. Some people say that looks um, in a in a purebred guppy. Oh, that looks dirty, or you know, it's faded. Yeah, but in a muck guppy, it looks fantastic. Tail shapes, a lot of different kinds of tail shapes and and fins and stuff. So you be you may be saying to yourself, well, Mike, I would like to breed muck guppies for profit. How do I do it? It's simple. I'm going to suggest my standard everyday ordinary breeding setup for guppies and here it is get a pen and a pencil folks huh 20 gallon high it's the tank i like the best a big sponge filter lots of java moss or other places for the fry to hide and a disproportional amount of males to females say three females one male that's kind of the best maybe four females to one male six to two which is three to one carry the one the denominator yeah yeah three to one anyway three females to one male i would pick the best looking male you can find and three of the best looking females you can find not necessarily from the same tanks not necessarily from the same batch or anything and then you feed them good quality food i really like the cobalt ultra guppy pellet right now in fact, that's not it. That's it. Bought it at supercichlids.com. Uh, it was on sale for a hundred bucks, and uh, it'll last a long time. But I really like the ingredients, and my fish do well on it. I also have this cobalt shrimp and veggie pellet, which we'll talk about in another video. But today we're talking about muck guppies. Anyway, that's the breeding setup. Tips and tricks. How to breed for profit mutt guppies 20 gallon high it's what i like you can use whatever you want guppies kind of swim in the middle to the high part of the tank so that's why i like the 20 high it gives them a lot of swimming room places for the guppy fry to hide because you know the parents think they're tender and delicious because they are i like to use java moss so you can use whatever you want i prefer live plants and i went over that in another video but I prefer live plants because little microorganisms and stuff grow on them and then the fry can eat off that all day just graze kind of like i like to do uh so tank clean water sponge filter why a sponge filter you're not going to risk fry getting sucked up into something and they can eat off the sponge filter places for the fry to hide good quality food Easy peasy, nice and squeezy mutt guppies. Now, here's what you have to do if you're breeding for profit. You need an outlet to get rid of them. So let's say you think you can breed, conservatively, you can breed 50 guppies a month. You gotta go to your local fish store or wherever you think you can get rid of them and see if they'll buy them and it'll be worth your while. Now they may offer you store credit, and that might be good because then you can buy food or you can buy other tanks or you can buy other fish filters or they may offer you cash sometimes they offer you say two dollars a guppy in trade or a dollar fifty in cash for me two dollars a guppy in trade is not worth it i i get more i'm not going to tell you what i get because that's a business secret so ha but it's more um what else that's it that's it. That's tips and tricks for breeding muck guppies. Now, how about we look at some muck guppies? What do you think? I'll show you my setup, and then I'll show you what it uh, what the muck guppies look like. All right, snack and a beverage. Stand by. Be right back. All right, fisher folks. Just look at these stunning mutt guppies. I mean, look at how big that tail is. That's a mutt. I don't know what it's made out of. That's a mutt. The reason why that's a mutt looks like it was a red cobra and maybe something blue diamond or blue Japanese blue to get that really nice blue sheen to it. These are mutt guppies. Look at that one. They're just stunning. That's all I can say. You can take a look at this tank. Water's a little low here. I had an issue last night. We'll talk about it another time. But you can see here's a Japanese blue I threw in there. I don't know why. Maybe its tail is jacked up. I don't know why it was in there. Maybe it that's just a baby that was born and grown up. I mean, that's a spectacular guppy. That's a spectacular guppy. Look at them. They're all mutts. 
This is like a yellow cobra with a AOC tail. I mean, fantastic looking guppies. Yeah, the tank's dirty, I don't care. Let's look at some more mutts down low. Look at these. So, these are, are breeding fairly true. Oops, sorry about that, pothos in the way. They're breeding fairly true, probably about 75, 80% true. They're still mutts in my book because they're not breeding over 90% true. See some fry down here in the corner. Typical breeding setup for Michael's fish room. It's very easy. I think we got a man down back there. Yeah, there's a man down back there. Actually, it's a female down. I gotta get her out of there. Real life, folks. Dead fish sometimes happen in the tank. I'm guessing that's gonna that's probably the mom of the these newly hatched or newly um, birthed fry, but um, you can see there's there's like some endler types in there. Um, see with the like those little ones, and then those with the the nice tails, blue sheen to them, like right in front of us. Look how big the mamas are. But a typical breeding setup, as I said, a place for the fry to hide the uh, java moss, big sponge filter, also floating plants for them to hide in, 20 gallon high. And you can see this, I, I do nothing to this tank, but feed it, that's it. Obviously water changes through the auto water change system, but that's it. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna get that dead fish out of there. Don't wanna hide anything from you guys. It's real life down here in Michael's fish room. Here's some more. I gotta actually combine these tanks. I have way too many tanks of mutt guppies. I gotta, I gotta uh, add some different, some new strains to the fish room. That's a pretty nice looking guppy. <coughs> All right, guys, that's it. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. And uh, I don't know if you saw the shirt I'm wearing, but that's my boy Scott and Liz. Uh, King and Queen Cichlids, check those guys out. Supercichlids.com for all your food needs. And uh, peace, yo. And so you guys sometimes buy mucky, mutt, 